I'm Chris Hawkins. I'm from Henderson, Kentucky. I'm Sufi Bushiki. I'm from Belgium. So, Sufi, what events do you run? I'm a long distance runner, so uh, I run every the, every uh, event from the 800 until until the 10K. So now I'm I'm trying to uh, specialize only on the little bit shorter distance. I'm I'm trying to leave the 10K and try to concentrate on the 5K and the 15. So Chris, uh, what are your events? I do the 200 and the 400 and the 4x4. Okay. That's about it. So what do you think about America? Uh, oh. The first, actually the, the first weeks I came here, it, it was completely different. I mean, the mentality was different. Uh, I saw, I mean, I mean, I saw a lot of big people here. Mm. Uh, that's maybe the biggest difference with, with the U.S. But I mean, like the facilities that they have here is is incredible. I mean, those facilities we can we can never find them in Europe. We can only dream about them. So, Chris, what is your uh, best race you ever had? Time wise is when I ran in the EKU Open last weekend, but my best race ever was probably when I won the state championship my senior year of high school. And what time did you run? I mean, I suppose you ran the 400 because that's uh -huh. that's your head high, In high school? Yeah. It was like a 49 something. Yeah. It wasn't a good time, but I still won. I don't understand. I still won. And what did you run at the EKU Open? Mm. It was a 48.0, but since it was hand time, they had to add 0.24 seconds onto it. Yeah, so, so that's something, I mean, like, I know the times on the 400 and that's really fast, so. Oh, thanks. Yeah. So who do you think is the um, funniest person on the cross country or track team? Uh, the funniest person, I think, is definitely Alex, Alex Drew. Oh, okay. He's from Australia. He's the guy that, uh, <laughs> I mean, he makes fun of everyone. <laughs> okay. Uh, definitely, Alex. Okay. Uh, so, who do you think it's a fun? Who do you think is the funniest person in your tr in your? Mm, well, I think the team. funniest person is probably Lutisha Louise, but the greediest person is probably Tashana Johnson. We could be anywhere, and if she hears like a bag rattling or something, her hand is out for whatever you have. She don't even care what it is. <laughs> But she's probably by far the greediest person I think I've probably ever met since I've been alive. Yeah. Definitely what do you think about see. Coach Erdman? Coach Erdman, uh, he's, he's, I mean, like, he's a really good coach. That's what I think. Uh, he has a lot of experience. He coached for, I think, what I heard is for more than 30 years. So if he says something, He's gonna know that better than than the okay. athlete itself. So that's some, that's something. I and I hope. I I definitely hope that he can stay for longer. longer definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, what do you think about your coach? I mean, like, because mm -hmm. we have different coaches. So I don't want to say Coach Moore is crazy, but I want to say he's different. I guess because like at conference and stuff, when he starts pulling his hair out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen anybody do something like that before at a track meet, so he's um, different, but he's a good coach overall. Yeah, definitely. I mean, like, that's, that's the thing that I, that I saw on, I mean, it, it's like Coach, coach Moore is the opposite of Coach Erdman. Coach Erdman is so relaxed mm -hmm. on the track meets, I see him, he, I mean, like, if, if you don't run good, he, he don't really care. I mean, like, he cares about it, but it's not like Coach Moore, he gets crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he can, wow, that's... And that's maybe something really funny about him, but yeah. Okay. Thanks everyone for watching yeah, me thanks. and Sufi's interview. <laughs> See you. See you.